Oh, I think progress has been made. I, I think progress has been made hugely, you know, and um, were we happy with today? No. But has progress been made? Yes, greatly. And uh, are we going to come out and try to make a statement in the last two games? Yes. We try to do that every game. So, just got to go back to work and practice really hard and work on good things. The Vandals struggle against Appalachian State in a 47-20 loss, but despite the tough outcome, Paul Petrino sees the progress his team is making as they look towards a matchup with Auburn. Inside the Vandals, next. Hey, welcome into another week of Inside the Vandals. I'm your host, Tom Purvis. So glad you could be with us, and I'm joined now by Vandals head football coach, Paul Petrino. Coach, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Tom. Well, Coach, a tough loss on Saturday to Appalachian State. What happened in that one to you? You know, I thought the first half we played well. I thought, you know, we had a great two-minute drive. We had like a minute two, and we went all the way down the field and got a field goal right at the end of the half to cut it to a one-point game or one-possession game. Um, then, you know, the third quarter, they just kind of got after us. Um, they really controlled the ball. They had the ball basically the whole quarter. Uh, we only had two possessions on offense, and, you know, we – we didn't execute on third down, so that's kind of where the, you know, first half I thought we played well, did a lot of good things. Um, second half, of that that third quarter, they just kind of took the game over. How did you feel going into halftime? I felt good. You know, I felt, hey, you know, I went in there, we're, you know, we're one possession away. We're kind of right where we want to be. We want to keep this thing in that same, you know, keep it to a one possession game going into the fourth quarter, and that gives yourself a chance to win. And they, uh, you know, their offensive line probably just kind of took the game over in the third quarter. That uh, right before the half, I think you guys have made it a 14 to 10 game, had forced the three and out. It was fourth and eight, and one of your guys lines up in the neutral zone, makes it fourth and three. They end up going for it and getting it. How big of a play was that, and how much did that hurt? Oh, that hurt a lot. You know, that's something that you, you know, we got to be smart. We can't get penalties, period, you know, and definitely not in a situation like that. And that's something that we really improved on this year. We, you know, we lead the league in the least penalized team, and we're in the top in the country, but uh, that one, that was one that really hurt us. Um, you know, he jumped. We weren't going for the block anyway. We were setting up a return, so there was no reason for him to even, you know. But uh, you know, that's something you got to learn from. Make sure it doesn't happen again. What did you say to your guys after the game, and just even as you guys prepared for practice this week? You know, Sunday night we just talked about. Uh, you know, we've we've done a real good job this year of getting better and really moving forward. Um, and that was one game in the second half where we probably didn't. You know, that was a game where we took a little bit of a step back and. Now this week and next week we got to really go out there and improve every day in practice and and everyone do their job. You know that's probably the most important thing. Sometimes when things like that happen, I think some guys start trying to do somebody else's job. So let's just everybody do your job, do it as hard as you can. Let's really get better these two weeks and and finish the season right. Overall, how did you think your defense played? Um, I thought they played pretty well in the first half. You know, in the second half we you know they they dominated us in the second half, but. Uh, you know, I thought Caden Ellis ran around and made some plays and did some good things. And I think Quentin Bradley's had a really good year for us and has played, played well all year long. But um, second half, their offensive line took the game over. Your guys' offense moved the ball pretty well in that first half. What was working for you guys, and what were you guys able to get going? You know, I think Matt did a good job of taking what the defense um, gave him and, and did a lot of good things. Two of the drives, you know, we really could have moved it every single drive. The, the opening drive, um, you know, we had a guy open on third down out in the flat, the back, nobody covered the back. And then the second one, you know, a third and one, we, we, we had a drop pass. Other than that, we probably would have moved the ball every single drive the first half. Uh, we were just executing, really, really guys were just doing their job. The way their defense plays, you kind of just got to make the simple, simple plays. You got to, when you're open, you got to catch the ball against their zone defense. And, and guys just got to do, you know, do their job. And I thought we did a good job of that in the first half. We did it also in the fourth quarter. In the third quarter, we had two drives, and we didn't execute on third downs. And um, when somebody's dominating the game like that offensively, keeping the ball away from you, you, you got to you got to stay on the field. One one third down stop can mean you don't get the ball for the next nine minutes, and that's something we can't have happen. I don't know how much you even think about this after games, but how good was App State compared to Georgia Southern, some of the other teams you've seen? Again, I don't know how much that's even a, a thought. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you don't really look at it that way. I, I've thought all year long, we followed you know, App State in a lot of games. I thought their offensive line is probably the best offensive line in the league, and, and they just confirmed that watching them in person. You talked about uh, Caden Ellis and also Brock Westlake. Uh, both of them seem to play pretty well on defense. What did you like about their games? You know, I just Caden has a great motor, and everybody, you know, we all got to remember he's just a freshman. Yeah. You know, he, he's 
He's a gray shirt freshman. He's still got three years to play. He's going to be a great player here, you know. And Brock, it's his senior season, and and he's done a good job for us, you know, inside. And but you know, Caden just runs around, has great speed, great instincts, and Brock's just a tough guy inside. When you look at those, the previous two games before this, do you think that there was any kind of just the disappointment of the way those losses happened, any kind of carryover effect? Did you notice anything, or did you guys seem ready? No, I thought we were ready. You know, I thought we had a good week of practice. I, I, I was a little upset in our walkthrough on Saturday morning. I didn't think we had quite the fire that we needed to, but I thought we came out um, first half and played played fairly well. We just got to. You know, we got to carry that over and, and keep executing and do things right. You know, I think one thing that, that happened in the game that's a big positive, Elijah Penny went over 1,000 yards. You know, that's the first time that's happened in a long time here. And so I was really proud of, of Elijah. And he did a good job catching the ball in the backfield like he always does. And so, um, you know, the, a definite positive coming out of the game was Elijah Penny. Well, that's a perfect segue. We're going to talk about Elijah Penny in the next segment. He's Vandals head coach Paul Petrino. We're going to take a break, but up next, again, we'll hear from Elijah Penny, and we'll talk about the Vandals' upcoming road trip to play SEC opponent Auburn. Inside the Vandals, back after this.